and job. welcome to another edition of Football Friday. This is number five already. I'm Mark Ovenden. This guy is Zach Borb. We're always pumped on a Friday night. That's true, Mark. We're already halfway through the season. That's because all the cameras are out in the building, out shooting high school football games. We got another great show full of highlights brought to you by Paul's Place in Canton. And we're going to start with the big schools and top rank Roosevelt. We heard from Kim uh, Nelson at six o'clock. His team on a mission to go undefeated through this season. Uh, and they've looked really good at number one. This is uh, Jeff Jet Toon Thune showing, throwing to Tyler Van Voorst. And the Riders take a 7-0 lead in the first quarter. This is the late game out at Howard Wood Field. Then Tyson John with a rip up the middle. That makes it 14 to nothing, And the band has a lot to uh, celebrate tonight. Ooh, nice nice pick, pick here by Tanner Machacek. And that leads to a field goal. And Roosevelt takes a 17 to nothing. Same guy, same quarter, same result. He gets a diving pick. Roosevelt takes over deep in uh, Raiders territory. And this time it's the option. Tyson John is going to take it in on the pitch from Thune. Easy touchdown makes it 24 to nothing. They're in the fourth quarter now, and it's 40 to 7 in favor of the Riders. It was homecoming for the Knights of O'Gorman as they hosted Watertown. Steve Keeter, Keeter inching his way towards that all time wins mark. And this will help. Luke Fritch going to keep it for the touchdown as O'Gorman goes on top. 14 0. Took a little bit of a shot, but he's all good. Move ahead to the second quarter. Same score. Jack Peary, we're used to him catching footballs. End around. Yeah, he can run it too. This time he's going to take it all the way. Nice little stiff arm right there. A couple of them actually. He gets into the end zone nice with run. the stretch. It's 21 to nothing. Oh, Gorman Knights pick it up in the third quarter now. It's Boston Bauer getting in on the action. He'll take it in. Some nice jukes as he gets into the end zone. 28 to nothing. A little bit later in the third, it's going to be that Fritch fella again. Look at how pumped up those kids are. They have reason to be pumped up. It was all O'Gorman in this one. They go on to win 42 to 10. The Aberdeen Golden Eagles lost a high scoring affair against Yankton last Friday night to find late Lane Teeson's huge game. Well, tonight, Great they played throw. Lincoln in the first game at Howard Wood. Look at that nice throw. Tyler Schlombaum makes the catch from Cole DeBerg, and then it's going to be DeBerg on the same drive, keeps it, and takes it in. And you see that number on his back? That made it 7 to nothing. He's the bomb. Lincoln in the second quarter, then. Jesse Nelson is going to punch it in. That makes it. 14 to nothing in favor of the guys in red jerseys playing the early game out there. And then it's going to be uh, Polo Peter takes the handoff. And watch the end around. It's going to go to the reverse to Lee Ransom. 63 yards out scores. And Lincoln uh, with great defense tonight wins at 28 zip. Well, the Harrisburg Tigers host another AAA opponent as the Brandon Valley Lynx came to town on homecoming. Opening drive, Brandon Valley showing some stuff here. Alex Waltner dumping it off to Andrew Sorensen, who's going to rumble his way. I'm going to actually get out of the way right here because I thought I was going to get hit. Another cameraman did, actually. That would set up a one-yard touchdown run, and Brandon Valley was up 7-0. Next possession, watch this. Waltner rolling out. Waits, waits, you know, feel free to make a sandwich, grab a drink or whatever, and then he throws. Great catch, Zach wow. Skolton. Dragging Super the toes. Sir. It's 14 to nothing after one quarter. First play of the second, though. I kind of wish Paul Heinert was here for this play. It's Paul Paul. 51 yards for the touchdown. He gets to Paul's place. <laughs> That's, That's the point. touchdown. Yep, it's 14 to 6 at that point. But in the third quarter, Brandon Valley puts it away. Watch Tyler Hintz, the big fella. 5 6. Not graceful, but boy, does it look pretty. Final in this one. 30 to 6. Here, shutting out Yankton in what might have been the game of the night on paper, but the Governors had five interceptions. Kaiser had three of them. They're 5 and 0. Roosevelt again in the fourth quarter, leading Lincoln with the shutout. O'Gorman 42 to 10. Steve Keeter one shy of Max Hawk. You know where they can tie the record if he wins next Friday night? At Yankton. Yankton. Yes, and of course Max, the legendary Bucks coach. Washington rolling at Rapid City Central. They're now 4 and 1. Brookings 54 to 12 and Mitchell and Spearfish about the game of the night. Shootout. Negabaro just scored on a 91 yard run and Spearfish answered on a 58 yard touchdown. There's like eight minutes still left in that game. Well, the Trojans of West Central have won 12 state titles. They started tonight ranked third in 11A and hosted the Quarters of Del Rapids, another team with a lot of tradition. Late in the first half, West Central up 7 nothing. Hunter Hansen finds running back Sam White for the touchdown. With just eight seconds left in the half, we go into the break, tied up at seven. And it was pretty much all West Central. Yikes, rough snap there. That gives West Central the lead. It's now 9-7. to And the Trojans, they would pretty much roll from that point on. Jonah Rechtenbaugh, 
After we get a nice look at, look at the cheering section, he's going to get in the end zone as West Central oof, took a big hit at the goal line, though. West Central goes on to get this victory pretty emphatically, 30-7. to seven. Put his shoulder down on that touchdown. Lennox hosting Tri-Valley, a couple of teams coming off losses last week, and they were undefeated before that. So this is a big game for both teams. It's going to be Tyler Leesinger to Nick Kale. Great catch at the one-yard line, and then Colin McEntee is going to punch it in, and it's 7 nothing in favor of the guys in the orange jerseys. Sharp unis. Those are the Orioles, of course. Tri-Valley would respond on their next drive. Uh, Ty Clinnert is going to fight his way in from six yards out for the touchdown run, and we are tied. Second quarter, Lennox tailback John Oldenkamp is going to make a nice cut on the sweep, and he's going to take it to the house. Lennox takes the lead just before halftime. It's going to be Clinnert again. His second touchdown of the game. We're tied at 14-14. It went to 21-21, and Lennox on a safety wins it. 23-21, and probably the game of the night. On to the nine-man ranks for the top team in 9A. The Hawks of Canastota paid a visit to Hanson, and the Beavers pick it up in the first half. Hawks taken to the skies, and fittingly, they're flying pretty well on this one. Shea Jolly to Jared Nielsen up top for the touchdown as they take the 7-0 lead. Hanson trying to answer through the air, but Drew yeah. Siebert has a different idea. He's going to take this one back and weave his way in for the touchdown. Nice moves after the catch. Yikes. Jeez, He's still going. Blocks. That's wow. a long touchdown Oh, He's like the Energizer run. Bunny. He's still going. <laughs> no kidding. A great Man. return. You know what? It turned out he wasn't done. It's Nielsen again, this time on offense, breaking tackles. This fella is just a bowling ball. He gets in for the touchdown. It was all Canastota, 38 to nothing. We cross the border into Minnesota for a shootout at Hills. A pair of four and one teams met us. Uh, HBC hosting Edgerton Ellsworth in this one. Landon Buckridge uh, drops back and throws. It's picked off. And Hills Beaver Creek has the football. Ensuing drive for the Patriots, Isaiah Viss. Mm. He had a great game, breaking the uh, Run, tackles here and goes 39 yards for a touchdown. He had 166 yards and two scores on the night. And then Zach Skolton finds Drew Forshe for the touchdown. The Pats win it 22 to 6. On to Iowa, where the Nighthawks of Boyd and Hull Rock Valley hosted the Lions of Central Lions, GLR. In the first quarter, Miles Van Manen, they nearly fumbled the snap, but he's going to move into the heart of the Lions defense. Tough run there for 12 yards, moves the change. We're still scoreless. Later in the drive, they're trying to change that. Brett Mosier drops back and gets drilled by Jaden Baker. It would force the Nighthawks to punt. The Lions move the ball a little bit. Pete Minich with some elusiveness here was scoreless through one quarter. It ended up being Boyd and Hull Rock Valley getting the win 21-7. And we wrap up our full night of highlights at newly named Jay Rosenboom Field where his West Lion Wildcats took on Western Christian Hull. And this was a dandy. Tyson Koima drops back, finds Joey Horseman, and uh, he catches that ball, runs down the sideline for a 39-yard touchdown. Koima throws over the middle, though, and it's going to be picked. Trevor Rosenboom. Yeah, that last name, <laughs> that's, a, that's a recognizable last name with the pick. Follows some blockers to midfield, and on the ensuing drive on third and goal, Ooh, great Dylan run. Heiser great takes effort. it in for the end zone. Wildcats take a 26-20 lead. Western Christian drives back down. Drake Granstra, Granstra takes the uh, scores the touchdown. They take the lead, but a late field goal by the Wildcats in a great game tonight. Your final at Jay Roseboom wow. Field. Jay Roseboom's team wins it 29 to 27. Boyden Hall again, there's your 21 to seven score. Hills Beaver Creek again, Canastota with a shutout, West Central and Lennox both win. Britton Heckla, Sioux Falls Christian Chargers now five and zero. Corsica Stickney wins by 50. Arlington Lake Preston, Chester wins by a lot of points yep. tonight. Parkston wins big. Canton 34, 17. Madison still undefeated. Play Sioux Falls Christian uh, next Winner week. and Parker, that should be a big game next Friday. Parker also a winner, 50 to nothing. Bison, and Laura Brule both win, along with Falkton and Cologne. Belfouch and T area wins their homecoming game tonight. Beersford and Laverne victorious. Langford it beats Warner. Warner had been undefeated, I believe ranked number two. Ron Cowley with a shutout. Hamlin and Clark Willow Lake, one of the better games of the night. Mobridge Pollock wins big. Scotland and Sully Buttes, along with Adrian and Jackson County Central continuing to score a bunch of points. Webster and Marshall, the uh, Tigers having a great year. Uh, Miniota beat uh, Tracy Milroy Ballatin. Both those teams are undefeated. Redfield Dolan also won. Wolsey Westington remaining number one, and Baltic wins 48 26. A couple of more scores that weren't on the board. Bonham beat Menno Marion 40 20. Platt Geddes 
I beat Sunshine Bible 48 to 24, Millbank 33, Sioux Valley 21, and Alcester Hudson 50, Irene Wakanda 36. Busy night of high school football. We'll be right back.